Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Romani. If you're not sure who I am and you've never seen any of my videos before, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My channel is geared toward business, beauty, health, and empowerment. Today, I'm gonna be telling you guys eight tips for moving into your first apartment. So if you're about to move into an apartment or you just want to hear me speak, this video is for you. So straight out the gate, number one, you want to go look at your apartment before you move into it and you want to look up everything about that apartment because you want to know everything that it is to know about that apartment and it might seem like you're doing a lot but this is the space that you're going to be living in so you don't want to have any surprises i know that a lot of my instagram followers asked me why i moved twice a few weeks ago and it's because i moved from my current so i moved from my current apartment and yes current the one that I'm in right now I moved from here which was my first apartment that I did videos on last year I moved into a one bedroom because like me and my best friend um, my best friend moved and so I was moving out of our two bedroom and I just downsized to a one bedroom in the same apartment complex but I never went to go see it because I was already living here I just assumed that it was, you know, going to be the same nice luxury apartment that I have been staying in. And it was not. I kid y'all not. The door fell off the closet, the closet hall door thing, like the, the, the door fell off. The door fell off. The sink flooded my kitchen. The microwave stopped working. My outlets weren't working. My outlets weren't working. Maintenance came and knocked a hole in my wall because my neighbor had a leak and they never came to fix it. The list goes on. Nonetheless, like I said, I don't stay there anymore. Um, I had to go to my Lisa office and I told them, like, I don't know who y'all think I am, but I'm not living there. So I moved back into my two bedroom and that second bedroom is just um, a storage room now. Nonetheless, you want to look at your apartment and you want to read the reviews beforehand because you might not read the reviews and they might be very helpful. They might tell you that your maintenance team sucks. They might tell you that the electricity doesn't work sometimes. They might tell you that the water goes off frequently. So you want to read your reviews and you really just want to get a good feel of where you're moving into like if you have pets you want to know if it's pet friendly do they have a dog park are pets allowed what type of pets are allowed because all pets are not allowed in some um, apartment complexes like sometimes pit bulls aren't allowed and just different things like that you want to make sure it's kid friendly if you have children do they have playgrounds are there other children that they'll be able to play with is there an outside area so you really just want to make sure you have a good understanding of where you're going to be living and you want to go check that place out physically before you move in because even if you check something out virtually is still going to look different when you finally move into it. Number two, you want to purchase from high-end thrift stores. If you're not able to go to a high-end thrift store, that's perfectly fine. You want to just purchase from thrift stores. And when I say purchase from thrift stores, I mean things like wine glasses, plates, cups, etc., etc., etc. I did a video on this when I was initially moving into my apartment last year, and I'll link that down below. But I just took you guys thrift shopping with me and yeah I just showed you some of the things that I got and I got so much stuff and it was for under $88 I believe and I'm still using that stuff to this day all my champagne glasses before my movers broke half of them all my wine glasses my plates my cups my bowls like you can literally get some great deals at the thrift store and it might sound like uh the thrift store I don't want to go there but it's really some good stuff there so just check it out and I say hi and thrift stores just because you want to get some you know luxury items you want it to look good you want it to look like you know you got it from target or something so go to high-end thrift stores and y'all know what i mean high-end out there out there in the, the suburban areas is where you want to go thrift shopping for your first apartment and some other good stores to shop at for your first apartment is target i'm a amazonaholic like amazon is going to just save you so much stress and read the reviews on Amazon too because some products are not the same when you get them 
um, get you a Sam's Club membership because at Sam's Club you can buy things in bulk so instead of you buying one bar of soap from Walmart you can buy 10 bars of soap at Sam's Club for the same price so get a Sam's Club membership oh and the store at home is really good for home decor like pillows shower curtains covers five below is also good just for little things like different little lamps or different trinkets that you want around your house number three you want to see if your apartment complex has any deals or specials for the month that you're moving in so sometimes like i know especially like since covid a lot of apartment complexes are having discounts and deals so like if you move in in july you get maybe a month's free rent and fifty dollars off the next month or something like that and even if it's not you know a summer month just try it whenever you're going to be moving in just be like hey do you guys have any specials before i sign this lease because we need specials we need discounts on the rent number four you want to move on the top floor to avoid any unnecessary noise now as i stated before i moved out of this apartment moved into another apartment and it was on the bottom level and i'm thinking like okay i'm expecting that there's going to be movement it's not going to bother me and it didn't bother me but when I say it sounded like the family upstairs was playing soccer with the stove I kid you not like they were running day in day out and it started to get on my last nerve so just make sure you live on the bottom floor now if noise really doesn't upset you then I mean I mean make sure you live on the top floor now if noise really doesn't upset you then you know live on the bottom floor live your best life but me I'm not doing it ever again number five you want to pick one day every week to clean the entire house so your house doesn't get messy over time now my day is Sunday I like to just literally clean everything in the house because we get busy throughout the week things just get thrown around and if you're not cleaning up week by week at the end of the month you're gonna look at your home and it's gonna be in disarray and you don't want that because when your home is in disarray your life is in disarray so pick one day to clean any day that you know you're free and clean your house number six get creative if you don't like how something looks so I'm gonna keep talking about this apartment that they moved me into a few weeks ago. When I moved in there, one, I had already hated it before anything went wrong. It was so small. Like I said, I was used to a two bedroom, moved into a one bedroom and there was literally no space. So I already hated it, but it was ugly to, it, it literally did not look like the apartment that I live in now. And that scares me because why are the apartments so different? Nonetheless, I didn't like how the counters in the kitchen looked so I looked up some ways to fix that and I saw a lot of people on YouTube using contact paper to like change the design of how everything looks so you can get some um, contact paper that like gives a marble design or just any design that you want and I ordered mine off of Amazon never ended up putting it to use because I moved out so I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it but get creative if you don't like something if you don't like the counters you can get contact paper um, if you don't like the showers I don't know any solution for that you might have to move out that's another re I hated that shower from the other part um, if you don't like the walls you can do contact paper they have contact paper for the walls that gives you like I saw some that was like it had bricks like it was a brick layout so it looked like a brick wall behind you they have a lot of stuff um, you can get like those grass walls from Amazon you can literally get all of that stuff so get creative if you don't like how your apartment looks because this is a space that you're going to be living in so you don't want to settle if you don't like the walls get some tapestries get some portraits get some paintings like cover things up so you don't have to see the ugliness thank god i don't have to do that at this apartment i decorate because i really want to decorate but at that last apartment i was literally trying to cover everything up Number seven, you want to make sure everything in your apartment works because you're paying for it. So as I stated multiple times in this video, when they moved me into that other apartment, that one bedroom that wasn't working for me, 
nothing was working in it and it's like I'm paying y'all X amount of money for this so make sure your lights work your microwave works the heat works you need to make sure everything works and if it doesn't work you need to call them people every day and tell them my hot water doesn't work this doesn't work that doesn't work because they will take your money and you will not be happy so you need to be happy if you're spending your hard-earned money tell them what doesn't work and number eight you want to save enough money to pay your bills in advance so hypothetically let's just say your rent was $100 whatever nobody's rent is that low but if your rent is that low let me know so I can come on and move in but if your rent is $100 you need to maybe save up $200 or $300 and pay your rent up front just in case anything bad may happen and you may not have the money you may fall on hard times but you always want to make sure you have a roof over your head so save enough to pay your bills in advance but that is all for this video guys thank you so much for watching and I hope that it was helpful let me know in the comment section below make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video follow me on instagram and twitter at xo underscore romani and i will see you guys in my next video